hello friends this is soft reason you are welcome in this lesson we will be erecting uh, this uh, reinforced concrete uh, water stand uh, columns foundations as well as this beam okay as the first lesson we are adding to uh, designing a full uh, water stand including the slab okay so we are going to start from here okay we we'll doing something like this as the first lesson okay so uh, let's start all right so uh, this is just a new project okay and so if if you check very well this is these are my grid uh, set out okay this is the way i set out my you know coordinates in the y x and z so you can just take what i have here okay all right so the next thing i will have to do is to create views okay i'll just click on uh, this uh, grid lines okay just highlight it like this right click and then i navigate to the create view okay and then along the lines i clicked and then click on create views has been created okay I click on okay and okay all right so after which i will double click and select this uh, double click and then i will redraw just like this all right so at first uh, we will navigate to the concrete tab to en enable it and then we will have a uh, concrete columns okay just like this all right so in the uh, in the concrete column dialog we will be having a concrete of a diameter 300 okay the first concrete column of diameter 300 just like this okay so we will place the one here just like this all right after which uh, it is select select this so as to edit it all right at the bottom we will be having it to start from zero point and then at the uh, top constraint will be uh, 10,000 meter okay so I click on uh, modify so I'll be having something of this kind and then I right click and click on fit uh, work okay so just like this I will do control P all right this is to for me to be able to place my foundation successfully so I uh, click on the foundation drop down and select path 14 all right so I will select the center of uh, Alright, so I'm having something of this kind. Uh, the uh, top will be at uh, zero level, and then while the bottom will be at minus 350. Now this 350 is the footing thickness. Okay, so I'll place it here just like this. Okay, alright. So I can decide to select this and then choose a different uh, uh, class for the uh, footing. Okay, for the micros. Okay, so I uh, just like this. So I can now go ctrl p to my uh 3d okay so this is the 3d uh this is a section boss if you want to remove the section boss just hold your control key and at the center hold the shift key uh right click and then click on the fit uh drawing uh right click and click on the redraw okay so once you do that the section boss will be uh, uh hidden okay so you can be able to see your work very well so at uh, this uh, point we will be fixing the foundations okay so uh we will be adding reinforcement to this uh, part footing okay so we need to come to application and component and then uh, just type footing okay if you just type footing just like this okay so we'll be using this one so click on it double click for setting okay so in this dialog we'll be doing some few settings okay so at this picture level you can see the type of bar we have the lesser bar the one by the side we have the primary as well as the secondary bar so at this point i want us to be having the uh this offset from the uh, top of the footings uh to be uh 100 just like this okay so after which uh the the concrete cover is 50 okay so i will leave that okay i'll go to the primary bar so it's going to be uh size uh, as in the rebar size in the one is going to be uh 16 and the spacing will be 150 just like this okay this is the few things i need to change in this place i go to the secondary okay and do the same thing okay 150 okay you have to all right just like this so if i go to the lesser bar and uh, it's at default so i don't actually want the lesser bar okay so what i will do is i will click on this and then i select no okay for the lesser bar for the attribute uh, what I just need here is uh, you just have to add the prefix. Maybe uh, you can make this place Y. It depends on the, the prefix you want to use to the bar. Okay. 
all right so there is no lesser bar so i don't need this one okay so after which i click on uh just have to go through the settings once more okay uh the lesser bar is not functioning in this case we are uh, considering the secondary bars and as well as uh, the uh, primary bars okay so these are the few uh, bars we are considering so this is how the pictures looks okay so after which you just click on uh, modify applied and okay so now we just select this uh, foundation so once you select it you can see automatically it's been uh, instructed and okay the footing is being uh, footing reinforcement is being instructed all right so after we just deselect the command okay then come to this point uh, uh this point will be having a starter bar for the footings okay so we see starter bar for a uh, footing so you click on this one all right and then uh, you will double click for settings okay so in this setting dialog uh you will notice at the picture level uh, you can uh, see the lab length to be 800 i want to change this to 600 just like this which is the lab length okay and for the uh, <coughs> uh for the uh, stir up okay is four i want it to be three just like this all right so and then the uh, rebars numbers of uh, sidebars uh, okay yeah i want to have it to be uh, six yeah okay this place is not one six okay so at this point i will go to the bottom cover okay at the bottom cover i i will leave it at a uh, 100 and then the location of the bar okay the bar at this point is a rectangular uh bar uh bending uh schedule okay but uh, i want it to be circular so i click this point i select this circular okay so after which i will need to change this figure from 400 to 300 okay just like this all right so if i come to this parameter it's just the same thing i have to feed the prefix okay depending on what you want to use as your prefix i will use y yeah okay for the corner bar sidebar and the rest of them okay so after which i will just click on the um apply it okay and click on okay so i'll select this footing okay just like this to instruct my bar so this is how it's being instructed okay uh you have to actually follow the lesson so as in follow the settings okay so that you can be able to instruct it uh, correctly just the way i am doing it okay so at this time i'll click on the select okay so as to deselect the uh commands and then i will navigate to the uh column reinforce uh, reinforcement uh, bar okay so i'll just type rebar all right just like this uh rebar okay then i will navigate to the column rebar this one this is rectangular column rebar okay and then i will go to the uh, round column this one so i will double click on it just like this so uh, after which i will uh, make some changes here okay at the stir up i will check uh, i'm having a 300 spacing at the center and then at the uh, extreme uh, top side i'm having 50 uh, which i don't want it to be so i want it to be 300 throughout so i will change this point just like this okay so after which i will uh, go to the stir up uh, stir up uh, attributes okay so that is okay and then i will check the top uh bottom i think uh, they are all okay all right go back to the main again then the bar size which is 25 mm i want it to be 16 change it to 16 all right so uh they said uh this point hook at the top uh no hook at the top okay uh but i want to add hook okay at the top here okay at uh, 90 degree okay just like this then at the bottom since there will be a continue a continuous starter bar at the bottom there will be no hook at the bottom okay so after which i'll click on uh apply it and then click on okay so i'll just select the uh, uh column the first concrete column to insert the reinforcement okay so just like this as you can see if you check this top you can see that there is a hook yeah all right so that is how it's supposed to be and as well if i uh deselect this command okay and then i do control control one you'll be able to see the uh the whole thing how is being fixed okay so what we are going to do now is i want to order my control key okay and i'll be able to select this uh, foundation reinforcement 
and as well as the starter bar this one okay then i will now go ahead to select the the column reinforcement okay then i'll select the foundation itself okay and as well i will select the uh reinforce concrete column itself after which i will do control p okay to go to the plan view i will right click and click on copy okay so i want to copy this to this point this point at this point okay so i can populate it in those points so i pick this point just like this and i placed it here this place and then this other four point is completed i do control p on the keyboard so this is what i'm having okay all right so uh, this is how you can you know insert your foundations and as well as reinforcing the foundations the columns okay so the next thing we will be looking at is we are going to have a kind of ground beam that will bind this foundation together at the foundation level okay so uh, for us to do that you click on the beam here okay and then you go to settings all right so in this setting dialog you have 400 by 400 beam okay so i will be having a beam of 450 just like this uh by 450 beam of 450 okay i'm having beam of 450 by 300 just like this okay so uh, for me to place it uh, successfully i can do control 4 okay to select the command okay do control 4 so you can be able to have an opaque view of the uh, structure and then instruct the beam from this point to this point you have something like this okay from this point to this point you notice i double click so i can pick again and transfer it to the next point and then to this last point just like this okay so after which i can select this beam hold my control key ensure all the beams are selected because if you actually allow it uh, to be connected this way and uh, you will notice that uh, if you run analysis in the in a, in a analytical uh, software you will notice that uh, this beam will not be designed these beams won't be designed because uh, the software will comment that there is a bedrock so the best position to place this is uh, putting it uh, above this uh, footing level okay so you just have to select this or your control key select this beam this one okay and this one just like this okay then come to uh, the concrete beam uh, uh, dialog and then add this uh, depth select this drop down menu then uh, select uh, front okay and modify so it will actually move this beam to this uh, top of the uh, foundation just like this okay so what will we will be doing now is uh, we'll be adding reinforcement to this uh, foundation beam okay so we we'll could come to uh, application and component okay and then uh, we'll be using a uh, we'll have to check for uh, a rectangular beam okay so just type red okay okay just like this you can see rectangular beam uh, automated okay so you just click on it double click on it for settings okay so in this setting dialog you just check uh, this uh, longitudinal bar okay and the longitudinal bar you will be able to set the bar size okay i want to use a uh, y16 okay just like this y16 at these places of y20 and y25 you change it to y16 okay and then the the stir up okay the stir up at the middle you are having the spaces to be uh 200 200 but at the uh, end you are having the spacing to be 100 uh actually i want to leave it uh, at this just like this okay so i will go to the composite okay uh the composite uh distribution is also okay all right the embers the embers are uh uh y10 okay you can see you can also make changes while the attribute all right which is the prefix depends on you okay you can't put y okay all right so just is this just the setting you have to do your setting just like this okay 
and then click on apply it and okay all right just like this then zoom closely and select the beam to insert the reinforcement all right so this reinforcement has been inserted there successfully just like this and then click on this point too to insert it and this one as well as this one all right so you can now deselect the command okay so if you uh, do control one you will see the reinforce reinforcement connections to each other if you zoom closely to this point you can see an anchorage inside of this uh, column starter bar okay and as well yeah so if you want to actually see the uh the views that we have set you just do control i just like this in the view dialog you can be able to select the grid one okay you can select the grid one as well as grid a depends on you okay and click on okay then come to the window and then you tile vertical so you can see all the views okay that you have enabled okay so you can also hold the control key and rotate this view this way okay so you'll be having something of this kind okay so if you notice that uh, if you do control i you are not seeing reinforcement in this view okay but if you want to see reinforcement in this view you click on it right click and then click on property okay so in the view property dialog under visibilities of object type you click on display just like this okay and then you navigate to reinforcement bars check this point and this point then click on modify it apply it and okay then modify it apply it and okay so if you check now you will see the reinforcement okay so these are the reinforcement connections and placement we are aligned in this view okay so if you check this view too you do the same thing here you will also have the reinforcement okay so if you do control for you have it the way it's supposed to be okay just like this so we will uh, stop here okay in the next lesson we will add beam the rest of the beam as well as the reinforced concrete uh, slab okay so if you are new on the channel subscribe like the lesson share and stay tuned for more advanced lesson bye for now